Questions been answered yet? <laughs> In regard to to the question just asked, is it is it something like passing to through a a cloud, say with an airplane, whereby uh, you would pass through perhaps a thin layer at first, then come out into a, a dispersed layer, and then go into a little thicker band, maybe come out into the sunlight again, and then go right into the cloud? Would it, it be is similar. Yeah. Very much similar. Thank you. I have a question if I may. Uh, oh, thanks. Yeah. With respect to what you said about the change is instant, even though it'll take, we'll be in it 2,000 years, um, that connects with me what, you know, Jesus said about in the twinkling of an eye we shall be changed, and this corruptible shall put on incorruptibility. Is that what this reference is to? Yes. Okay. So I want that. Thank you. You are confusing the 2,000 years with a prophecy of the planet. This has nothing to do with a prophecy of the planet. At what point in all this does ascension take place within this 2,000 year period? In this case, I cannot give you that answer through this particular channel. Perhaps if you had a scientific channel, we would be able to get more information through. You are getting into a point now of very specific information that is only theory to you on the Earth at this time. And we appreciate your questions, but do you think you could find somebody, a scientific mind, to go on from here? This would be excellent, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> yes, Astor. Well, the uh, ultraviolet rays, will that be affected by the photon belt? Will it, from like an outside worker, will that have any problem there or not? No, dear one, no problem at all. Uh, you suggested before that uh, that there will be stable individuals on this planet that will help the animals and all that. Will this be the, the thing of the unconditional love? That will be the stabilizing influence that they will be looking for? Yes. <coughs> Astar, this is Bob. I have more of a personal, third-dimensional question. If you wish to answer this later, I'll understand. Those of us here that don't live in this safe haven of Canada, um, my questions are, I know I need to leave California. I know it's not safe there, both physically and, and from an energetic standpoint. And I'm, I have a lot of, lot of concerns about how do, I, how do I know where I'm to go and deal with the fears of letting go of all that I would be leaving behind and so on. It is wonderful that you are so aware, dear one. And I would suggest that you work very hard on your teleportation. <laughs> <laughs> but we will get more into specifics with you, dear one, later. Excuse the joke. It is a very serious matter. And we will be with you on this. Will there be any weather changes, Commander Ashtar, in the sense of can you localize areas that will be more dangerous than others in the States? 
Weather changes are happening. You see it everywhere. This more. will continue. It will get more and more and more energy. More and more differences. Um, in, in the areas where it is normal to have um, intense storms, they will become more prevalent and more intense. In the areas where it is very cold, it will become warmer. And in the areas where it is very hot, you will find varying changes that are unpredictable. It, it may suddenly freeze in a place that it um, normally never freezes, for example. Thank you. And there will be areas where there will be such droughts that the crops cannot come and cannot feed you. This will happen, could happen. Ashta, the, the photon belt, uh, obviously this isn't the first time we've gone through it. So what was its function prior to this time? What? There were other times that you know of when uh, the Earth was in higher dimensions and went to third and, and so on. This was the happening of the photon belt. Are you saying it came into existence after Earth came into the third dimension? The photon belt has been here before the Earth, dear one. That's what I was going to ask you. That okay. brings up a lot. So the photon belt was here, and then Earth dropped. It is part of creation, the okay. energies of creation. But is it part of the it third is dimension? Part of, oh, dear, no. No. It is the energy that changes the matter into higher dimensions. It is this. It is the impetus that will do that. Well, have other planets gone through this same process? Oh, yes, dear one. Ashtar, does this photon belt have anything to do with, with uh, then a person in the higher dimension? Do they use this kind of energy to come back down the dimension into the third again? It is different, dear it one. Different. Okay. So the function of the photon belt before Earth arrived in the third dimension was? Ascension. No, before Earth got here, what did it do? <laughs> Why, what there, uh, dear one, there are many, many, many planets around many, many, many stars mm -hmm. that are in the third dimension that were populated, so okay. to speak, in many different life forms before Earth was even thought of. So it was basically part of the plan. Yes, it was a divine plan. Any planet from will will progress from the third to the fifth dimension, and this was the mechanism instituted to uh, to do that. So the photon belt begin energy, that the change. ascension energy is that what you're saying? Right? The ascension energies, yes. Okay. It is so. In more than just the third dimension, in other dimensions as well. I want him to answer in a sentence, just a second. Those of light who live in higher dimensions than the third are also affected by this energy. It is actually an energy of the higher dimensions that filters down into the third. And so it is that energy that can take one um, right through the scope of the dimensional mm -hmm. uh, plan, which I know to your logical way of thinking must be from 1 to 12 or 1 to 24, but it is not like that. Uh, but we understand that we need you need, need this. <laughs> Indeed. <coughs> Commander Ashtar, are other paths of the light working in conjunction with your command as well as the divine beings of the Greek Right Brotherhood? 
other paths of beings of the light. Specifically, Ekankar. Oh, you mean third dimensional yes. societies? Yes. Are they working with? The Great White Brotherhood. The Great White. Oh, many are, dear one. Many are. Indeed. Many are. Yes. Unbeknownst to them, even those such as the um, AA. Alcoholic Anonymous? Yes. Yes. Oh, of course, the 12 steps. Yes. The 12 steps, yes. <coughs> it is all very divinely guided, yes, very much so. Um, I got a little picture here when we were talking. I wanted to ask you about this. Um, let me get this straight here. Um, being that the photon belt is something that exists and has existed since creation and uh, sometime since the initial time of creation and during and after uh, our solar system formed and our sun formed, planets formed around it as did planets form around other suns in the Pleiades system, the stars that we see that we call the Pleiades. Um, and being these are all on an orbit that would at some point intersect the photon belt. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is if we have been uh, incarnate on other planets in the Pleiades system, it's occurring to me that perhaps we've done this before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a exactly. <laughs> exactly. say that. Exactly. Yeah. You have done this many, many, many times before. <laughs> and we said, well, how come? And at the very end of the booklet that we put together for you for this, he tells you. Because we jumped planets. Because, well, no, because we somewhere. were, that's why we'll jump planets. Yes, we weren't on this dimension. We were out there practicing on all of these planets. And this was happening all over the place, like balloons popping, right? Well, we must like yeah. this. We keep coming back <laughs> one further out so we can get on the next ride. <laughs> <laughs> roller coaster ride. Well, indeed. Well, <laughs> <right. laughs> Marvelous. I love you. <laughs> Like running back to get in line for the next period. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening over and over again? Be that because day. we like to ride. <laughs> well, dear ones, I think on that note, that happy note, we will discontinue the questioning at this time and allow you to go into your day. Beloved, we love you and we thank you. We thank you. And we appreciate that of your questions and that of your concern. And we love your inquiring minds. <laughs>